What's up guys, I am Siddhant, you are watching Siddhant India, welcome back to my new video. Today we are gonna talk about data science course in France in Poltech Nantes. We have a student of that college, his name is Dheeraj, he was also my senior in my B.Tech. So today we will take his interview and let's talk about data science course and how it is in France and what is about the job market of France and how you can apply for that college. So let's start the video. Hello, so Dheeraj, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm from India and I'm doing here masters in data science. I'm in second year at University of North. Uh, it's a small and beautiful city in the countryside of France. Okay, that's good. So Dheeraj, why you chose France for your studies? Yeah, so for me, like there are two major reasons for choosing a France. So one is like in France, like it's a developed country uh, and like most of the countries in Europe are developed. But in France, like uh, in engineering, it's in high in demand. And like if you see there are a lot of research output which are coming out of France there, like I, I am in research field. So I've seen a lot of researches which are very well and most of them are in electronics and computer science. So uh, that was one of my major like choice to choose France and the second thing is like in France you get a two year stay back visa after your studies so that is a plus point like in most of the European countries you just get one year or, or a six month stay back visa and like I also got a offer from UK University but the problem was like right now in, during the Brexit and it's not so confirmed that after 2021 maybe it will be like two year or one year and it is based on grade point but in France like you will surely get two years for Indian students and like some of the other countries you also get two years stay back visa so that's the plus point for me to choose France. That's good that you are working in research side. We can make a video on research as well afterwards. Yeah sure. So why you chose Poltech Nantes, Nant, whatever it is for your data science course? Yeah, so I would like to tell you that uh, for this I chose Polytech North because uh, I always wanted to go into the research field and my master's is totally based on research. So like it's a research based master's and I have already spent my one year in my host institution over there like I, I prepared myself for the second year as well as the upcoming things. So that is the best benefit for doing this course like in other colleges you can also have the data science for two year or one year but uh, like they were not like research based but mine is like research based we will learn about like how to write a research paper or thesis and all the things and out of one year like my first semester is totally teaching the second year is like i have to go to lab and i have to do a thesis or research over a project which will be assigned by a professor or on my preference also maybe so what is the duration of your course and how many semesters do you have in your masters yeah, so in my masters, like there will be only two semesters. The first semester is like uh, I already told you that it will be a uh, teaching. So like we will be having lectures and all. After that, we will like uh, whenever the, our module will be done. After that, we will be having like exams after each module. And once our first semester is done, maybe in January, mid January. After that, we will be having a internship or a training period time where we can do our lab. So, so if, if we are doing lab thing, so we'll be getting 500 euros per month, that is a stipend in our college like lab and if we are going for internship uh, in the industries or a company or something like that, so we'll surely get some money out of that also but it's for industrial but I want to go for research so I will prefer my lab. That's cool. So can you describe about the subjects of your first semesters with the credit system? Yeah, sure. So like in my for like the total there are two semesters so each semester is of 30 CTS the 30 credits and like I do have some of the subjects and I can tell you the list so it's more like a core data science thing so you will be having all the course material regarding the data science like visual analytics and data dependence dependency integration or management of data and like there are several several things but most of them are like of each three credits so i can just list some of the names of the subjects which we will be having like semantic knowledge representation we do have and cluster analysis and indexing then pattern matching and social network analysis so these these all are like major fields of data science where you can implement machine learning ai and all the things so those will be the application but these will be some some of the subjects and most of them are divided in the credits for three and two credits 
and the whole sum is 30 okay that's when you have lot of subjects because of the credit system you have two or three credits with each yes so what about the second semester uh, for second semester is totally purely thesis so we have to do a research project uh, under my professor or maybe some industrial internship it will be marked as a 30 credits for the whole semester so we have to do all the things and in final we have to defend our thesis and all whatever we have done for the each sem whole semester and then we'll just get our degree after finishing that that's good because in ireland we have three semesters and in third semester we have thesis we have to study two semester instead of one so will you recommend others for the masters in data science course if they are still confused and searching for the course yeah of course why not like if you are from computer science background or mathematical background like bsc mathematics or msc mathematics i prefer like i think that data science is the job of future like where you can learn a lot of things so data science is like a big place and where you can find yourself easily a place where you can work like maybe in machine learning in artificial intelligence in data analysis or maybe business analytics and all the things so the main thing is data science uh, it gives you a lot of ways to go for your career so whatever excites you or you are interested in you can go over there so i think it's a big opportunity in india of course we do have a lot of opportunities regarding these things also but it's booming in india right now on a professional level it's already there but if you want to learn maybe you can come out of the country and you can learn from some developed countries and then you can go back and you can implement all those things whatever the resources you got and got over here and then you can implement them in your own country i think it will be very much beneficial and career rewarding so how anyone can look for a good college or an institute for a data science course yeah so look like there are a lot of factors like which depends like for me like i belong to a middle class family so of course the financial things also matters a lot but if we look forward to the education part uh, always look for like uh, what you want to do like what do you want to pursue after your master so for me like it's phd for others maybe a job so look for some specific kind of uh, data science courses like business analytics or data analytics or maybe in some other machine learning and artificial intelligence so which can get you a way to go through kind of job directly after your master and still if you don't get you have expertise in one field and for that you have to just go to Campus France over there you can choose your fields like artificial intelligence or data science they will give you a list the whole list and you can just check the like you, you just share the link with the people in your video also about the campus France where they can check all the list of the college I will just let you know and so over there you can check all the colleges and after that just go for their faculties what kind of teachers teach over there what is their course what is curriculum over there how many semester you will spend over there and all such kind of things after that maybe you can easily find out that which college is good okay so now we have a basic of data science a course description and a good college but at the end we all want the job so how you will describe the job market of france in data science yeah so right now it's a very big question because uh, after covid like everything is disrupted and a lot of things but i will i will all, like i always think that data is something which never stops to like inculcate and coming way out of anywhere so like if there is lockdown it means a um, lot of internet consumption over here in india or in the world or everywhere so that is a plus point for the data scientists like you always get data whether there is something because the world is not going to end and like the possibilities are there but right now a lot of companies are struggling financially so they are laying over a lot of people but in data science in future i think you will get a lot of job if you are skillful and if you know how to story like storytelling you need a storytelling every data scientist need to be a storyteller to create insights and all the things if you are good at your work you will easily get a job and there are a lot of opportunities because there are a lot of big cities even in small cities there are a lot of companies like i live in north so over here like there are a lot of it companies which are looking still looking for forward to get some data scientists because data is always growing yeah i also think the same because every organization is recovering day by day and hopefully after two or three months everything will be back to normal. what is the ideal time for applying for a job in france Right now, I, I have no idea about this thing that when, when you should apply, but whenever you feel that you are done with your education and now you are looking forward to go for good jobs, 
I think that is the best time for go through a job because I, I just want to go in research so I don't have so much expertise in, in recommending that when to apply but as soon as possible you you are confident that you can work on to that you can go for that I also want to add on in this because till now I have a lot of experience of taking interviews and I have a lot of answer from all the interviewees and I had also done my masters in cyber security from Ireland Europe so you should start applying for a job from the first day when you come to your country where you will be doing your masters or you can also start applying from your native country as well because as soon as you will start applying for a job there will be more chances of getting a job and you should also make connections on LinkedIn which is very beneficial yeah of course always get connections and always get the details like where we can apply which companies are good which are offering what kind of perks and all the thing connections are always beneficial you can get job from them as well yeah so always get into networks go into the seminars and conferences and all the things you will get a lot of connections and it makes your like job finding very very yes do you want to say anything in the conclusion yeah in the conclusion i would like to say if anybody wants to come to france just learn french at least basic french conversational french because like for us due to covid like we never got so much time and it was like uncertain that maybe we will get visa or not so we were ne- like we were not so ma- much hope like we were not having so much hope to learn french and at, like now we feel that we should learn like french before coming over here because it's a little bit tough if you come in a country where very minimal people are speaking english and that is also not that fluent or something good english so you find struggle to get a lot of things so just learn french before coming france so thank you dheeraj for all the information i think viewers will take benefit of this video yeah thank you so much dheeraj again for all the information and if you guys want any another video you guys can comment below and i will surely make a video on that and hope you guys like the video if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel and after subscribing don't forget to press the bell icon as well because after that only you will get my all the updates <laughs> see you guys in the next video